Meteorologist Zoe Mintz joins us live on this Sunday morning. And Zoe, you've been talking about a storm system all over the past couple of days. Finally, it's making its way here. Yes, it has arrived, and you can tell just by looking out the window yeah. with the clouds out there, a little bit of some mistier conditions along the coast. We need the moisture and the cooler air that comes with it. Kind of gives you that spooky chill, puts you in the Halloween spirit just for our Halloween week. It's the Halloween weekend, too, that we just made it through. So yeah. lots, lots of fun stuff to talk about. But I'm happy that it's going to feel like how it should outdoors. We're no longer looking at those above average temperatures thanks to that storm system that brought us a cool down and it's brought, brought us this cloud coverage. It's so much fun to watch the fog rolling through. This is on top of Sutro Tower. And you notice that fog changing directions as the sun is beginning to rise. We are expecting it to stick around, especially the coastal communities throughout the afternoon noon, but our more inland areas should be seeing a good amount of sunshine. So yes, it's a foggy start to our day. That cloud deck is very low and very thick, but we're looking at our temperatures pretty mild because cloud coverage acts like a blanket overnight and it insulates us. So it's not looking like as cool as what we felt yesterday in the 40s and 50s or in the upper 50s to low 60s, if not mid 60s in places like Oakland. So maybe a jacket early this morning and you maybe want to keep it handy into this afternoon. It kind of just depends on how sensitive to you are to that cold. But again, that storm system is bringing a majority of the moisture to Northern California. We're on the southernmost edge of the system, the dry edge of it. So yes, an isolated little sprinkle is definitely possible across our North Bay communities throughout the later morning and early afternoon, but it's not going to be very impactful and it's not going to be heavy or widespread. And as that system continues to move over the Bay Area, it just fizzles out and we aren't expecting much more than that throughout this afternoon. Clouds sticking around today, especially along the marine lake. Layer. And then by this evening, likely going to be seeing a quiet and clear start to our night, but that fog likely going to reemerge by the early morning hours tomorrow. So really just kind of depends on what kind of weather you like. If you like this fall chill, get out today and enjoy it, even with a little bit more of that cloud coverage. We'll be seeing those temperatures in the mid to lower 70s for our inland communities, 60s around the bay, mid to lower 60s closer to the coast. Compared to normal, we are no longer anywhere from 3 to 7 degrees above average. Most of us in fact, are going to be below average this afternoon. Other than San Jose getting to 75 degrees, hey, we'll take it. 75 isn't too shabby, but it's only going to get cooler into tomorrow as everybody is going to be getting down into the 60s as that storm system very slowly moves overhead. So today it's approaching. It's brought us all this cloud coverage. It's brought us all this moisture. Tomorrow it gradually will be moving overhead. Again, it's not going to bring us nearly as much cloud coverage, but the bigger impact is the cool down that's going to stick with us throughout the early to middle parts of the upcoming week and potentially even longer than that. Our six to 10 day rate or long range models are showing below average chances for lower than average temperatures over the next couple of days. So let's take a look at our seven day forecast because again, there are going to be some changes, but it is going to be pretty moderate after today. We'll be very seasonable this afternoon, getting to below average inland areas, upper 60s tomorrow, and then staying in the upper 60s by Wednesday and into Thursday. Again, that low pressure system, that storm system has started a surge of Arctic air that's only going to continue to keep our temperatures slightly below average, even for areas around the bay and the the coast. The microclimates that have been in full force during the summer season with 20 to 30 degree temperature changes across the bay, not going to be in full force this week as we'll be seeing 60s all week long. Doesn't matter where you are from inland over to the coast. Max, back to you. All righty, Zoe, thank you for that update.